30 years ago, I had a young family, a big mortgage, and a burning desire to experience the outdoors. That's when I first discovered family camping. Those days, a 9x9 canvas tourist tent was our home away from home, and provincial parks became our weekend neighborhoods. Taking the kids outside, camping became a regular part of our lives no matter how busy our summer schedule was. Nothing else provided the opportunity to focus on family building. Along the way, we had good old-fashioned fun and created some of our most memorable experiences as a family. The bonds you make while sharing a campfire or hiking through a pine forest last a lifetime. Being outside is just plain healthy. It helps develop a certain resilience, builds courage, and teaches us about our own strengths and weaknesses. But best of all, the solitude and quiet takes the wrinkles out of your soul. Without a doubt, my favorite form of bass fishing is using topwater baits. Now I normally use hard popper style lures, but on this trip, I snuck in a box of secret weapons that I'll guarantee you have never seen before. It's not uncommon to find both species of bass cohabitating a little corner like this, by the way. Bass are bass, and generally um, they predate on pretty much the same, uh, the same critters. And in a lake like this, because the, uh, their habitat is very similar, They're, in other words, this lake is not a real swampy lake. Uh, for the most part, it's a hard base, a basin, a lot of rock, and so you get both species cohabitating the same, uh, the same water. There he is. He just slurped it. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Ooh, that's a smoker. <laughs> he didn't even really smack it. He just slurped it. Uh, yeah, we'll be netting this guy for sure. That was so cool. If I hadn't been watching that, I wouldn't have even known he was on. He just slurped at that. Whoa, baby. Nice, Molly. Normally, that, that kind of fish just comes up and hits that thing big time. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Whoa. Nice fish. Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm, 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 mmm. Smolly on a rat. Actually, a mouse. <laughs> this is neat. Isn't that a beauty? Wow. There's another one. There's a large mouth in here. That's why I came down to this corner. And a small he's out here on this log, but I think there's a largemouth back in the far back. I saw him earlier. Right about there. This rat, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I think the key here, especially in the shallow water, you can stop it. When it stops, it looks real because that fur just kind of moves around the tail. It, 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 it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Wow! The province of Ontario is known for its fantastic fly-in walleye pike and trout fishing. But what's little known is the great fly-in bass fishing opportunities. Now although not as prevalent as the quote more popular species, there are some incredible honey holes out there just waiting to be explored. The commercial air service and tourist establishment Lozon Aviation has spread the fame of Northern Ontario for over 40 years. This family-owned airbase, operating from the community of Algoma Mills, just outside of Blind River, Ontario, is the gateway to some of Canada's most pristine outdoor wilderness adventures. The McKellas service no less than nine fly-in wilderness camps, each one an adventure just waiting to happen. With only a little time spent on the internet, the traveling bass angler can literally have a host of fly-in bass lakes at their disposal. Simple search of fly-in bass fishing or hitting the Go Fish in Ontario site will have you well on your way in no time. Come on, baby. I don't think he's that big. I don't think so, but oh, nice little large mouth. Took it almost at the boat. 
little farther, he'd had to, he would, a little farther, he would have had to climb into the boat to hit that bait. <laughs> Boy, he got himself hung up good though. That guy probably followed it for a while. There's a rock out there in the middle and uh, he probably followed it in. Boy, they love this, this mouse. <laughs> it's cool. He's on, little guy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, boy, he's pulling good. He's pulling real good. But he's not big, though. You know what it is? I gotta look at him run. <laughs> That's a small fish, but my God, he is running. That's a real small fish. Well, he's not tiny by any means, but. Boy, they love this thing. Well, I definitely have a new favorite lure, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, that's nice too. Just, they just love it. I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> that is the best. That's, that's right out here in open water. That's the best part. That's probably a schooling fish. And uh, generally, we find those things, and I think I might have. You'll, uh, if they're really aggressive, you should luck out in getting two or three. An angler that uses topwater baits is kind of like a designated hitter in baseball. Play ball! Whoa. He's on. You're up there for one reason and one reason only, <laughs> and that is to hit that baby oh. out of the park. <laughs> No good! Oh my god. Which means you're gonna have a lot of strikeouts. Or in our case, a lot of missed fish. And they very seldom come back to hit the same bait. Ooh! He missed it! That's gotta hurt! There's the pitch! <laughs> Strike three. You're out. He'll feel that one tomorrow. He didn't like the taste of that rat, obviously. I was very fortunate that Hasty Lake, the body of water I'm fishing today, has had very little pressure so far. In fact, only one couple was in before me, but they reported catches of 100 to 200 fish a day. Now, normally I'd be worried about such big numbers, but on this little Ontario oh, bass factory, nice it just means the lake's on fire. <laughs> that rat is killing him. That rat is killing him, man. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, when you see this thing. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> How's that? Look how fat he is. I think just ate something. I think he ate a rat. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Wow. There's a ton more. That was a shallow water fish, which means there should be a pile of them cruising out here. That is beautiful, man. Wow. Outstanding. When you dissect the typical topwater lure, there's really not a lot alive about it. The baits I'm using today, however, are all about the enticement features. This bait is nothing short of phenomenal, little guy. Little wee tiny, nah, not tiny, but. Whoa. Oh, nice fish, he's not tiny at all. <laughs> Nice small boat. He hardly made a sound when he took that. Hardly made a sound. I didn't even know. Oh, nice small boat. Nice small boat. Now that sun is down behind the tree, so there's virtually no light at all 
on the surface where that fish took the bait. I mean, it, it is pretty much lights out for them. And so they're just roaming around free, man. It's a free for all. You could probably sit here and catch all of them. Oh, nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. Oh, that's a big fish. He could be a little fatter, but he is so long. Okay. Oh, that's a nice smallmouth. <laughs> that's what we call a slurpee. He didn't smack it. He didn't come out of the water and jump down on it. He just got underneath it and just, just slurped it down. <laughs> that's great, man. Off you go. Wow. Fish in Canada Hotspots, the ultimate fishing guide presents Getting There. Today's hotspot is a big underwater boulder in Hasty Lake. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. Every time we came up on this rock, we saw big fish around it. This would be a phenomenal early season hotspot as big female bass will spawn directly beside the rock. Cast a tube jig right next to the boulder and hang on. To get to Hasty Lake, we took Highway 400 north to 69 north, then took Highway 17 west. We traveled west to Algoma Mills and then to Lausanne Aviation on Lake Lausanne. From there, it's a quick float plane trip into the great cottage on beautiful Hasty Lake. Lausanne Aviation is a family owned company that's been in business since 1959. They offer nine flying cabins on nine different lakes. The flights are anywhere from five to 20 minutes each way. Visit FishingCanada.com for more details. Fish in Canada was brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, serious bug protection. Prince Craft Boats, the more you know, the better we look. And Mercury, number one on the water. Closed captioning provided by Ontario Tourism. Go fish in Ontario.com. For more Fish in Canada, visit fishincanada.com.